Like roads and coverages, InfraWorks makes it really easy to create buildings as well. So continuing the Dukes Ferry Road model, go ahead and open the Create Edit Buildings proposal and then select the new building bookmark. Go ahead and rotate the view around so we get a better view of the area from a bird's eye perspective. We will go over how to create and edit a building within the model and also going to show you how to use coverages to reshape the terrain so we can place the building on a flat area for more realistic placement. Before we level the terrain to place the building, let's see what happens when we just place a building on the bare terrain. Now let's go to the InfraWorks Core icon. Select the Draw icon. From the Draw toolbar, go ahead and select the Buildings icon. From the Buildings Asset card, go ahead and select the Polis Facade Style. Close the Asset card so you have a better visual of the area. And now let's place a building right over here. After placing the building, go ahead and hit the Escape button twice to end the command. Rotate the model so you have a better view of the front. The building detail is a little hard to see due to the sun position, so let's adjust the position of the sun. Now we are going to go over how to adjust the sun and sky settings later in this course, but I'm going to show you really quick how to adjust the lighting to improve the line of sight of objects within your InfraWorks model. Now go to the presentation icon next to the InfraWorks toolbar. Again, looks like a computer monitor and then select the sun and sky icon. From the sun and sky asset card, go ahead and slide the time to approximate 3 p.m. and slide the date to about October 28th, 2016. When you are done, go ahead and close the asset card. As you can see, we can see the front of the building better. Now let's rotate around the building so we can see what the terrain looks like all the way around. The building placement doesn't look realistic due to the slope of the terrain on the sides and back of the building. So let's go ahead and use coverages to flatten the terrain. Now go ahead and delete the building by selecting it and then hit the delete button on the keyboard. Go back to the InfraWorks toolbar and select the draw icon. And from the draw toolbar, select coverages. Then zoom and rotate around to see that area better. From the coverages asset card, go down and select pavement and then close the asset card. Now place the new coverage area where we will be placing the building. Once you are done, again, hit the escape button twice to end the command and then zoom into the new coverage area to get a better look. Let's go ahead and rotate back to get a good view of the new coverage. If you recall from the creating and editing coverage video that when you initially place a coverage that it drapes on the terrain and if you want to create a flat area you'll need to adjust the coverage gizmos to adjust the elevation to reshape the original terrain. Let's select the coverage to get it in edit mode. Move your mouse around the gizmo here in the front. Take a look at the status bar in the lower left hand corner and notice how the elevation is around 413 feet. So let's modify the coverage so all gizmos are at 413 feet to level out the terrain for us to place the building. Go ahead and select the top of the gizmo here in the corner. Once you select the little cone shape on top of the gizmo, the Z value window pops up which shows a Z elevation. Now go ahead and highlight the value, delete, and enter 413 and then hit enter. After InfraWorks regenerates the model, that point is now at 413 feet elevation. Let's double check our work by selecting the little cone on top of the gizmo and see what number shows up. And there you go, 413 feet. So good job. Now let's go ahead and work our way around the coverage and update all gizmos to 413 feet so we can flatten out this area. When you are done, 
go ahead and rotate the model so you can evaluate the coverage and see how flat it is. Again, using coverages is a good way to reshape the terrain. As situations arise, when modeling your existing or proposed conditions, think outside of the box because you might be able to utilize coverages to create the effect you're wanting to show. Now that we have a flat terrain, we can place our building without any terrain issues. So let's draw the new building. From the InfraWorks toolbar, select the Draw icon, and from the Draw toolbar, go down to Buildings icon. From the Buildings Asset card, pick the Polis Facade style. Again, close the Asset card so it's not in the way, and rotate the model to get a good view of the new area. Create a new building following the shape of the pavement coverage you just placed, and when you are done, hit the Escape button twice to end the command. Let's rotate around the building to check out how smooth and level the building is compared to before. Now let's check out how to edit the building. Go ahead and select the building to put it in edit mode. Again, like editing roads and coverages, buildings have the same editing look and feel with gizmos, rotation arrows, and the little blue cone on top of the building to change the height. So go ahead and move a couple of gizmos to reshape the building. Then go ahead and let's change the building height to 40 feet. Now let's make this building more realistic by changing the roof to a black color instead of the default white color as shown. You can update most of the building properties from the building asset card that pops up when the building is in edit mode. But you can also right click on the building and from the shortcut menu, you can select properties which will open the properties panel. As you can see, the asset card and properties are very similar with the properties panel having more options to edit the building. For the changes we are going to do, you can close the properties window and just use the asset card for the next couple of feature updates. From the asset card, let's select the roof material option and from the quick pop-up menu, let's go ahead and select more styles. The select style window will appear, which gives you access to all of the different styles. So let's go down and select the colors folder and from the color options, select gray 20 and then hit okay. Go ahead and select anywhere on the screen so you can see the roof color update. Now let's give this roof some shape by adding some pitch to it. Again, select the building so the asset card pops up. Go down to roof slope, enter 25, and then select anywhere on the screen to end the command to see the new roof pitch. Rotate around the model to see how the roof looks. This building is starting to look a little more realistic now. InfraWorks makes it easy to create impressive buildings with no architectural experience. This concludes how to create and edit buildings. See you in the next video.